Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is in the building on this Friday. Uh, I think it's the, um, yeah, Friday the 21st, 2024. What you say? Baby, baby. Woo. So, this is a late in the day video. I was going to do it earlier this morning, but then I got uh, distracted with some stuff that I am doing around here. So I just wanted to come on through, you know, um, put some sounds in your ear, you know, give you something to feel, give you something to feel, give you something to look at. How about that? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am. Ay, yeah, yeah. Despite everything that's going on in the background of my life, I am still enthusiastic and, and very happy to, you know, to have these opportunities. Hopefully, hopefully my face is clear. I just finished eating, of course, and just doing what I can, you know, to, to, to spread my, my message, you know, uh, create a foundation of things to consider that is going to be so crucial to our survival. And it's more cr crucial to the survival of our consciousness, you know, and a lot of people are not going to understand that right away. And that's fine. Just like back, you know, because things are turning over so quickly. Remember, we used to say certain things. Uh, for example, we used to say, um, I mean, there's so many things, but the point of the matter, a lot of things have, have expired. Okay. They're no longer relevant. They no longer have meaning at all. And so we kind of like are saying other things more so than we used to say. You know, and you can you can think about numerous uh, examples of that. You know, where certain things just just do not register anymore, and like I said, have no value. And so that's what happens when you're evolving. You know, evolving whether you want to accept that or not. We are evolving. Okay. And what's happening, though, is a lot of us are fighting against it, you know, doing that illogical fighting against it by holding on to certain beliefs, convictions, holding on to faith, holding on to illusions and delusions about reality in itself. And what's happening is, is that we, there's a chokehold on people that are attempting to come out of it, come out of a, this fear of beliefs, this fear of status quo, and this fear of how we are thinking. A lot of people are just holding on fast to that and, and just just won't let go, no matter what. And that's fine because there's a lot of there's a lot of fear behind why people are holding on so tightly. And it makes sense to me why people would do so. But at the same time it's just so detrimental to the development of the collectiveness and that's why I'm doing everything in my power to bring back a, a, a certain level of connectiveness um, even though collectively we're all over the place you know we're you know and I know it's kind of dark in here isn't it it looks kind of dark but that's fine as long as you can see my pretty face that's all that matters right so or just at least hear me you don't really necessarily even have to see me just hear me so I, I'm saying all that to say that for those of us that are working in, in the, uh, the realms that I am working in as well, because I mean, there's, there's anywhere from one of us to a million of us, you know, in, in that variance of people attempting to help, help, help humanity and help mankind. You're running into the walls of people that are just um, comfortable which is understandable to be comfortable, but they are, is, I don't know, you know, a lot of people say, well, they don't want to think outside the box. Ah, you know, that, that's a metaphor that needs to be put to bed as well. There's a lot of things that just need to be put to bed, you know, and obsolete, you know, they've, they've expired. They no longer are relevant to our current situation. We are in devastation, climate devastation, we are in uh, collapsing of, uh, of uh, entities, 
whether it's in the financial realm, whether it's in political realm, wherever it is, we're 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 in a culmination of time that is um, uh, going to be detrimental to millions and billions of people, and of course nobody wants to accept that because they're in their in their smalls. Uh, not in their small, but in their realities, which is small com compare comparing. Uh, they just refuse to accept that things are different and are and that we are operating on such a below level and is and the and the and what's so beautiful about it is that if you just change your thinking mode, you can get yourself out of it. Before the before you sink into this quicksand, okay, you know, metaphor, literal, you know, however you want to see it, and suspend your egos. Let let certain people give you their theories and opinions, and you don't have to necessarily. And see, what's happening is, is there are certain people that believe that they're experts and that they can't be moved. But to me, if you are an expert, you're willing to allow other experts in, but that's just not how our reality works, unfortunately. So I'm still working on my foundation, building up my, you know, building up my um, endeavors and, and, you know, and doing everything I can to stay, um, stay, stay neutral about a lot of things, you know. And, you know, I told you, I'm not sure when, but you know you need to you need to just be suspend your ego and be willing to to bring in all types of uh, information and not be so concerned about whether you understand it or not because you you probably won't for a while, but welcome things in and release some of your doubts about what other people are attempting to do. So many people believe, and it is, it is a belief, that's why you have to suspend it, but most people will not. But like I said, no one has to know. You don't have to share anything about what you're doing with anyone, okay? If you don't feel like that's a safe space for you, keep that in mind. But a lot of people are not just gonna get out of the way. And necessarily, they're not necessarily even getting out of the way. They're just like, okay, let's just like step aside for a moment, let this, let this person or people or group or individual give you some other flavors of information that you may want to consume instead. Instead of eating the same poison that we have all are eating, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. A lot of people just do not want to stretch. And it's so, it's so illogical, you know, it's so illogical to, to recognize that something is going on which something is going on and that can be on a micro level that can be on a mac you know it can be on a small level big level whatever level it is something is going on and um and, and no disrespect um uh, kindergartners will probably understand it because they have no agenda you know when you are as a young kindergartner or a young person you don't have the you know you don't have an agenda right away you know you those things are developed in you by your environment so your our environment has been contaminated for decades upon decades upon decades and it starts with our thinking it starts with our thinking and so we're going around carrying all these loads of labelings and 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 ailments and and um uh, uh definitions about ourselves that don't fit you know you know are which are fantasies and, and such so I am um, I know what I'm doing and I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and everyone has free will as to how they want to open themselves up to receive information you know um, to ask someone, see, that's that's why you have to be really careful about what you're expecting from people. To say to someone, um, 
that they need to kind of lower the bar, so to speak, is, um, it, I think it's disrespectful. And I don't think a lot of people are meaning to be so disrespectful. But it's disrespectful because it's like I need to keep, you know, I, I, I need to keep pulling you in, pulling you in, instead of you raising yourself up. To, 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 to bring yourself to a certain level of understanding and and, and uh, be and, and see it as an adventure not a threat so I um, I'm doing a whole lot of things it's um you know so you, you just have to be courageous too and you gotta just put yourself out there. Um, I, as I said on some of my videos, I use paid service. I, I use paid. I talk to people that I pay to help me, and I talk to people that provide me with information free because I like, that's how I like to do it. Uh, anyone going in thinking, you know, um, everything has to be free, well, you know, you're delusional and illusionary. You have to pay for something. Okay, there is a price to pay for something, you know, and a lot of people just want things free, 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 free. Well, you know, um, as the saying goes, and we, we have so many metaphors for this, you know, you get what you pay for. And sometimes, um, you know, you in, there's a loss with that, too. There, there's no guarantee that if you pay for something, you're going to get what you want any more than if you pay if you get it for free. You know, a lot of people, that's what a lot of people do. They give you a variance of uh, paid and free stuff. So, and I'm not too concerned about that right now that, you know, I may be wasting my money or wasting my time. But I do enjoy the life experiences that it brings to me and the eye-opening things that I've, I'm learning because I'm learning something every day about the interaction with people. And some people, like I said, the ego is um, is running the show for them, and we're indoctrinated more so than. And I, I realized we're more indoctrinated than I than I had imagined. I didn't realize it was so deep, you know. And with certain people, in certain groups, a certain this or certain dads, you know, all backgrounds of people, uh, the indoctrination is deep, you know. Thus, this is what we have. So. Um, and I know what's going to happen too. See, and that's, and so you know that's why I'm not so concerned. I know what's going to happen. I know uh, at some point there's going to be a spontaneous reaction of things. And what does that mean? That's going to is that mean? It means exactly what it, what I said. It's spontaneous. For you know the, the light is going to come on for a lot of people. You know, and, and hopefully it's not too late. Um, we are required and responsible for the development of our consciousness. And this has been going on for thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, these efforts to do so. And there's proof of that that's stored within us. It's all within. We have to activate it. So for, for someone to keep saying to people, well, you need to come to my level. You need to come, come down to my level. Or you need to come up to my level. That that's the, that's that's the worst part of it too as well. A lot of people are doing that. They they they're wanting you to come up to their level. And I told you, we all have everything we need within. Okay, and so we just have to make the decision, what resonates with us, and what are we being? Are we being honest too? And I think a lot of people are not being honest. How supportive are you of developing yourself? If you say that you you like things as they are okay that's that's being honest but recognize the consequences of that you know the cause and effect so i am a little um i'm all over the place as usual but in a in a happy way i'm in a in a happy state and a happy space in my reality um again you know I learn so many things every day, and I learn so much about people every day as well. And that's that's the most important part to me. You know, it it breaks up the myths that we have about things. 
you know, when you really get in there and figure out, okay, what is really going on? You know, you, you it breaks up the myths you have about people. It breaks up the expectations. And I know what's going to happen. I'm telling you, like I said, once the light comes on and then people are going to be, you know, seeking certain people out. And um, unfortunately, uh, for some, you know, you, you will have to be rejected. And what does that mean? Well, that means you're going to be rejected, okay, because, uh, you know, as they say, you know, you either, you know, you either come along now or don't come along at all, okay? I know that a lot of people, what they're going to do is, um, you know, they, they'll dismiss somebody for so long, dismiss them, dismiss them, dismiss them. They're crazy, they're crazy, they're crazy. It's not going to ever work. It's not going to ever work because they don't have that experience of what I'm experiencing any more than what I have of what they're experiencing. The, 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 the people that make the, be, the best breakthroughs are the ones that have made mistakes, the ones that sound crazy, the ones that are pushing the envelope, so to speak, in a more appropriate manner. In other words, it, I'm not attempting to reinvent anything. Okay, what I'm attempting to do is uncover invention, inventions that have been unco that have been covered intentionally. What does that mean? Well, we have a lot of stored knowledge that has been intentionally stagnated, and everybody just want to stay in that comfortable spin. Okay, that comfortable spin because you know they, so far it's benefiting them. But I'm telling you, it's not gonna these these so-called comfortable moments are not gonna last. Okay, that's why you need to be a little uh, have some experience with discomfort and know what that means. You know, how would you feel without you know uh, the ability to get from A to B or the ability to what? You know, turn on the lights, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever is um, operating in your, your space, in your sphere of life. Um, so I know I have my work cut out for me, but I know it's going to be successful. It's just, it's going to take a little bit of time. Like I told all the, all the genuine creators, we know that. It's just we have to get, get, you know, we just have to try to get, navigate ourselves as best we can through the interference, the blockage, so to speak, the uh, encasement. Because I told you, like, picture yourself in the middle of a million people and you're trying to get across to your destination. You're trying to get, you know, you try to journey on to your path. And then people are, people are, people are blocking it to, intentionally. That's as clear as I can make it. You know, there's an intentional block to not let allow certain people to materialize or to get through or bring in sufficient breakthroughs in our technology, but more so in, in how we're thinking. And that's where I'm. That's where I'm working. That's my. Uh, that's my goal. My goal in life, and I am enthusiastic. Um, now. It's going to be draining too, again because you be you're being pulled. You know you're in a, you're in the, in the middle of a million people or more, and you want to go to the left. I mean you want to go to the right. You want to go to the left. Somebody's there, you know, and that's what it. That's a metaphor. I want you to see if you can cultivate and contemplate and know how difficult it is, how to get through there. You know what I mean. And so you're gonna you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. You're gonna lose money, you're gonna make money, you know. And um, but then once people realize how simple things are with this new allowance of reality to come into your life, then everybody's gonna be jumping on the bandwagon. I know that they're gonna say, you know, I know her, you know, but you know. Just joking. <laughs> They're gonna try to say, "Oh yeah, I know her. That's my friend. You know, I know her. That's my friend. You know, you know how people are." <laughs> but I'm very modest. You know, I'm, I have a lot of sense of humor about things, and I know, like I said, I know this is the right path I'm taking. I know it's the right journey I'm taking. And some people may not want to be bothered, and may not want to 
uh, take this journey with me and I'm welcome to them deciding to move on you know even if I may lose money in the process you know lose time and you know waste of time well it's not even a waste of time it really isn't all all activities are valuable so my rambling is uh Friday what Friday which won't mean a goddamn thing too by the way um I'm gonna keep coming through as I am and just putting these things out because I know these videos that I'm putting out will be of value either now or definitely in the near future and it's gonna be there for people that are that have no uh, other means of moving from A to B you know they may be trapped somewhere they may be isolated somewhere they may be you know stagnated is mostly that metaphor in their thoughts and they're just looking for a way you know a way out a way out because they they see that these these beliefs and value these beliefs and faith and all these uh, convictions are collapsing right before their eyes and they're gonna they're gonna feel crazy let me make this very clear they're gonna feel crazy they may feel suicidal they may feel like they want to harm themselves and I and despondent and I say please just breathe through all of this you know just breathe through it it's not your fault we all have been indoctrinated we've all been manipulated deceived and when people realize certain events didn't happen certain people were never ex never existed that's going to be troubling to a lot of people so i hope to I, you know I, I i do i'm going to do the best i can to help as many as i can but i know if i can help one it spreads that's how that's how that's how truth that's what truth is when truth is truth, it's gonna spread like you know. It's gonna spread, and it's, it's it, there is not gonna be anything holding any holding it back. No belief, no conviction, no indoctrination. Okay. So, yeah, those of you that are following me, and like I said, I appreciate you, the silent ones. Okay. That, that may not show up in viewer account, hello, may not show up in followers and likes. I know the silent revolution is there, okay? That can, come, that can be from one to a million people, okay? So just stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. I'm going to make it worth your while because, like I said, this is your birthright. The evolution of your consciousness is your birthright, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust me, I'll be back.